وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته وأحبته علي أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهم السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوان عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي المقصرة المذنبة بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره روي عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أنه قال أيها الناس من حسن منكم في هذا الشهر خلقه كان له جواز على الصراط يوم تزل فيه الأقدام Our great prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم states It has been narrated that he stated that whoever is able to align his temper his temperament during this month hasana to improve then he's going to get the visa the passport multiple i don't know whether they give multiple or one visa to paradise on a day where many feet are going to slip from the salat from that bridge many of them are going to slip but you are not going to slip if you improve your manners, your akhlaq during these 30 days and nights, during this intense season of devotion, and dedication, and piety. When we asked, the American people ask us about Ramadan, what do you do in Ramadan? We say we don't eat. Wow, great, we don't eat. Even no water? We tell them, no, no water. They get really shocked. You don't want to drink anything and you can survive? Yeah, try it and you can see. If you have resolve, if you have resolve, you can do anything. But this is not the essence of fasting. Abstaining from eating and drinking is not the entire story about fasting. What is the entire story? There is something hidden beneath that. This is the surface. What is hidden is man hassana minkum If we can improve our relations. Akhlaq, what is akhlaq, my friends? Akhlaq is the way you deal with people around you, be it family members, be it friends, be it strangers, people that you know, people that you don't know, Muslims, non-Muslims. The way you deal with them, how do you deal? This is very important. How do you respond? How do you reach out to others? How do you answer your father and your mother if they call you? How do you deal with your children, with your wife, with your husband, with your neighbor, with your co-worker? How do you deal with them? This is akhlaq. If you deal with them with a humility, tolerance, forbearance, smile, kindness, then that's it. This is the essence of Ramadan. It is a season of a training, training to our inner self, to our attitude. The way you speak to people, how do you speak, how do you address, how do you talk about them while, you are not, while, while they are not there? Do you backbite? Do you demolish them when they are not present? When you see them, you smile in their face, you welcome them, but when they are not there, you try to 
demolish them. This is not Islamic attitude. This is not the spirit of Ramadan. We have to learn, number one, not to judge people. Not to judge people. No one is perfect on earth except the Anbiya and the Imams. And those were made perfect by God for a specific reason that you all know. Other than that, we, we are human. What does it mean to be human? It means that I am susceptible to mistakes, to faults, to wrongs. So we should not judge people. We should give them the benefit of the doubt. Even if they do something wrong, we have to encourage them. Because if you keep rebuking people, they are not going to come to you. And they are not going to go to, to God. If God only speaks in his book about hellfire, no one is going to believe in him. No one is going to worship him. They tell him, okay, anyway, you are going to put me in the hellfire, so why should I pray? Why should I come to you? That he speaks about paradise. And the verses that speaks about reward and paradise much more than those that speak about punishment. This is how we have, this is how we should speak about people in the presence as well as their absence. It's a month of togetherness. We should pull the community together, the family together. If a family does not speak to each other, they are scattered, then in this month, the father of the family, the mother of the family, which is the center of compassion and love, they should bring the family together, the cousins together, the extended family together, the community. In the community, there are some people are unhappy about others. I've seen in this community, in this masjid, in our community. But in the month, the month of Ramadan should bring us together. Why? Because it's a reminder that we are not going to stay in this life forever. One day we have to leave. How many people were with us last Ramadan and now no longer with us? How many people? Only in this area, in this masjid. How many? Many of them. Many of them are with God now, in the hands of God. We have to remember that we are not staying here, my friends. So let's leave a good legacy, a good legacy, a legacy of good relationship, building relationship. This life, it's not worth it to fight over anything, believe me, over anything, let alone something trivial, something small. Let me conclude with a hadith narrated by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You have to hold on to good temperament. Good temperament. Husn al khuluq. Definitely. No doubt about it. La mahala. Husn al khuluq. Good temperament is going to take you straight to paradise. وَإِيَّاكُمْ Stay away. وَسُوءُ الْخُلْقِ Avoid it. Avoid bad temperament. Avoid suspicion. Avoid being angry at people. Being jealous of people. Avoid these things. Avoid the greed. Avoid backbiting, slandering, negatively judging people. Avoid these things. These are سُوءُ الْخُلْقِ Why? It's going to take you straight with carpool, without the traffic, to Jahannam. That's the result. Even if you pray, even if you fast, even if you stand Qiyam al-Layl, even if you read the Quran many times during Ramadan, if you have bad temperament, suspicion about people, you dislike people, you are jealous, you hate this, you cannot tolerate this, you cannot accept this, these things are not going to help you. Fasting is not going. You are missing the point of fasting. Because the Prophet himself says, How many people they perform prayers, they stand, they get nothing but exhaustion, no spiritual reward out of their prayers. And how many people they fast the whole month, but they get nothing other than starvation and thirst. They get no reward. 
because they don't change. Their fasting and their prayers are only mechanical, not spiritual, mechanical. This is the problem. When we don't understand the philosophy of fasting, the reason why we fast, the wisdom of fasting, we miss it up. We don't get any. So this is the month, this is the season. I advise myself first and my loved ones, and you are my family. I have been with you for 21 years now. And I love you. And I always, as I said last night here on the podium, the ideal Shia community is not the one that only fasts or prays. The ideal Shia community that makes God happy and the Prophet happy and our Imams happy and our 12 Imam happy is the one that stays together and helps each other. That is the ideal community. Allahumma khfur al-mu'mineen wal-mu'minat wal-muslimin wal-muslimat al-ahyai minhum wal-amwat تابع اللهم بيننا وبينهم بالخيرات إنك مجيب الدعوات إنك غافر الخطيئات إنك ماح السيئات وجاعلها حسنات إنك على كل شيء بدير